everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, everyone. To all of my new subscribers and new family members, hello and welcome into my tribe and family at large. Welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Of course, y'all know family, every time we drop a video here on this channel, I'm pushing that Thursday night live stream because this is where you come to get the meat of the matter, all right? 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Listen, you don't want to miss it. This is where we go from healing to wholeness to boldness. I'd love to see you in the chat. Let me say hello to you. Let me meet you. Make it out to the Thursday night live stream, okay? 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every time we drop a video on the channel, y'all know, fam, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus on the likes, y'all. If you rocks with your girl, if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button, one, two, hit that like button, rock with me, y'all rocking with your girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, let's jump into the topic of this video. Let's go. Let's get it. I want to talk about the fact that um, the narcissist, they will never forget, okay, the way you treated them, okay? They want you back, okay? This is the main reason um, and this is the supply, basically, that you gave to them. It wasn't just your emotion. It wasn't just, um, you know, your presence. But narcissists love to be catered to, right? They like to be worshipped, in a sense. So when you're talking about the different things that they do, uh, do you know when you're talking about um, the different things that you did to them or for them I should say the different things that you did for them okay now we all know that a narcissist narcissist has a uh, memory like an elephant okay they don't forget anything but a lot of you ask you know why is it that they you know they're hoovering or why is it that they're always wanting to keep that friendship intact, you know, uh, and it never was a friendship. Let me just be clear about that. It was never friendship. They just want to stay in your life because they love the way you treated them, love the way I treated them. They love that. And a lot of times they told you in the relationship, you know, they told you they had never been treated that way. You know, no one had ever, you know, done those things for them. And, you know, you're the first person that ever showed them that type of love, you know, and respect and all of these different things. Yeah, they telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they were telling you that when you were allowing this bird back into your life. Sometimes, and a lot of times y'all heard it during the love bomb stage, you know. But one of the main reasons, not just because they lose control of you, that they become obsessed. Because, you know, when a narcissist can't have you, that's when they want you, right? But the other part of that is the way you treated them. You know, they became addicted to that attention. You know, that dopamine rush that, you know, you catering to them. You are, you know, you just making sure that they were good. You know what I'm saying? Because a narcissist doesn't come into a relationship trying to treat you like your like their partner. You know, most of the time when a narcissist comes into the relationship with you, a narcissist wants to parentify you. You know what I'm saying? They want to parentify, parentify you. So, we step into that role not understanding boundaries and different things like that that we don't have or didn't have for ourselves. We step into that role quite graciously. And not only do we do the doggone thing, but we go over, above, and beyond. That's what we did in these relationships. Narcissists eat all of that up. They love it. They love it. So, when you are gone or now that you've been discarded or you discarded the narcissist, it's not just the fact that they've lost control of you, that you see the obsessive behavior, you know, the stalking and all of that. They want you back, fam, because the way you treated them. I mean, who getting up making breakfast for them like that? I mean, who's taking them, showing them the finer things in life, the things that you are accustomed to or were accustomed to and still you know you still are you're accustomed to those types of things so basically what you did was you opened up your world to a whole bird a squirrel trying to get a nut somewhere okay 
Okay, make it make sense. And we didn't have sense enough at the time to realize, wow, this person has never been exposed to any of these things. This person is really not on my level. You know, why am I downgrading or why am I uh, dating down to be with this person? We didn't see it like that. We saw it as an opportunity to show another individual, another what we thought human being, you know, our world, expose them to the way that we care for people. You know what I'm saying? So a narcissist doesn't forget this. And this is one of the things that torments them is the memories of the things that you did for them. You know, the places that you all went, uh, the things that you did even for the family. You know, the family doesn't forget either. And that's why that new supply over there having a hard time too, because, you know, during the holidays and different things like that, don't you know that your name coming up? Don't you know that this bird got your name rolling off their tongue? Okay, because of all of the different things, even around if you celebrate the holidays around the uh, they're talking about all of the stuff that you did for them. You know, all of the things that y'all did. Now, they might be talking about it in a condescending manner, but, you know, they or they might vacillate and go back and forth. Sometimes it, it's in a condescending manner and sometimes they're talking about it in it like, you know, you were the bomb. Either way, this new supply is having to hear about you because of the way you treated them. You understand what I'm saying? So when you when you're like, why won't this why won't this clown leave me alone? I'm done with them. You know, I don't want to have anything else to do with them. You know, why are they continuing to try to smear my name to other people? And why are they continuing to go in on me? Like I'm done. Like I don't have anything else to do with the situation. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. You're done, but they're not. Don't you know that a narcissist losing control of you and losing that part of their life being treated the way that they you know that they were in the relationship a narcissist doesn't see themselves as ever being able to detach from that okay they don't because they see you as their property they see you as an appliance. This is how they see you. So the way you treated them, the way that you entreated them, your world that you exposed them to, the narcissist feels like they actually own that. They feel like they have complete and total rights to that for the rest of their lives. I know y'all sitting there like, I know this bird don't. Yes, they do. Absolutely. Facts. Facts, because they don't when 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 they come in contact with a person like you and you were grade A supply, they don't ever see themselves as not having ownership over you. Even if you've moved on, even if the narcissist has moved on, I don't care if they are with a new supply. I don't care if they married the new supply, committed to the new supply. This is why. Uh, this is why you see the continuous obsession. The obsessive behavior, this is another reason why, is because they will never forget the way that you treated them and they want that back. They want it back in any way, shape, form, capacity that they can have it. This is why a lot of times you see them as well wanting to maintain a friendship with you. Why? Why would I want to be friends with a viper? Tell me why. I, I just I want to understand that. Why would I want to be friends with a viper? Someone that never truly cared about me. You know what I'm saying? Why would you want to do that, family? But this is why they want to always extend that hand to friendship. Okay, so you want me to be friends with a whole bird. I got you. I got you. But no, they, you don't, you don't, you don't, in, you don't stay friends or you don't want to, uh, stay in contact with someone that never cared about you, that is jealous of you, that's angry with you, that can never see you as the beautiful human being that you are. You don't want to stay friends with that. But when you think about it in totality, the tormenting memories of you sends them flying back to you over and over and over again, trying so desperately to get back. Because you know what? They actually failed their demonic mission. I mean, I'm just being real with it. They did. And so the torment, part of the torment that those, those dark entities give them is the constant memories of you. So in order to be able to satisfy that those tormenting memories, if they can get back with you, then it relieves the tormenting memories because, you know, the ultimate goal is to, is to destroy you. 
to destroy the core essence of who you are. But see, when they when they fail their demonic mission, they are tormented in their mind. OK, and so this is another reason or this is another aspect that I want to show you, you know, because that's the spiritual side of it. <clears throat> but family, I'm telling y'all, listen, when you are dealing with people like this that don't respect you as a human being, they don't respect you as as the person that you are. They only want what you have to give them. That's I mean, it is what it is. But they pay the price for that, too. Yes, they do. They pay the price for that, too. You know, their mind as their memory and their mind, as good as it works in that memory department, it works against them, too. All right, family. So remember, that's what they want back. They want that royal treatment back. They and then not only that, they want to stop the onslaught of people looking at them, their family members and their friends, you know, ridiculing them, picking at them, you know, telling them, wow, you lost that. You know what I'm saying? What what happened? What happened right there? You like, and this person going on about that look like they doing good to me. Yeah, that's another reason why. Okay. That's another reason why the memories of you. All right, family. So listen, I want y'all to please have a wonderful day. Do something really nice for yourselves. All right, family. I love you all. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.